project management applications or task management applications. There's loads to choose from, but sometimes you might need a personal project management application and sometimes you need a task management application. Today, we're gonna to give you some advice on whether or not you need one of the two of these and you need to expand how you're using your task management application, especially for those who are freelance, run small businesses, or they are creating and need some more extension of their task management application. So without further ado, let's dive into today's video. So today's video, we're using Miro to demonstrate and visualize all of this. So you can find that linked below. If you don't know what Miro is, it's a collaboration tool that hybrid, remote, and IRL teams actually use to collaborate. Thank you to Miro for sponsoring today's feature. So personal project management applications, you're probably like, oh no, not another category. Well, let's just give you a 101 of what the difference is between these two. So task management applications are typically lists. Some come with more functionality. Todoist and TickTick are good examples of that, having Kanban boards inside of their premium experiences. And naturally, it is something that can be pretty helpful, but sometimes you might outgrow your task management application if you're working in a growing team or as an individual that caters to a lot of different things. And sometimes actually using a project management software on your own can sometimes be quite useful. So a personal project management software is essentially a one of these project management software, but it sort of allows you a bit more space to play in. And sometimes it's trying to work out whether that move needs to happen to be able to give you more organization, structure, and scale when it comes to organizing a timeline, Gantt charts, documents, and things like that. So we're gonna give you a bit of a rundown on how that looks. So let's take a look at the three types of categories that you may fall into. Now, there are sort of traditional task management applications, and a lot of the time, these tend to help us just get things done with lists, sometimes with light projects in terms of list-based projects, and as I said, boards being able to plan ahead. But when it comes to collaborating on larger sort of areas, sometimes a project management software gives you more room to play with, allows you to organize in projects, allows you to visualize it in more beneficial views, and also gives you more functionality to play around with. So there are, I would say, three types of personal project management application as a traditional type, which are actually like Trello, Asana, Rike is another one. You can actually use these as project management softwares that help you to organize. ClickUp, again, has a personal plan that's similar like this. And they sort of house into this area where you're using it like a team, but just yourself. And sometimes a lot of people like that. I know a good example a few years ago, Paul Miners, who used to come regularly on this channel, he actually used it, Asana, as his base for planning and I do know a lot of people who use Asana for that capability. And it's quite a good base because it's got the structure, the teams, it's got the integrations that you might need and also the capabilities for sharing external projects as well with clients and people like that. Now, there are other bases that are not necessarily as interactive as, say, these traditional ones. I call them more traditionals, but these are called like all-in-one, I call them all-in-one presets. Now, these I would say probably Honeybook, Bonsai, and I'm gonna say Basecamp, just because it sort of falls under that category in the asynchronous environment. But if you are using either of these ones and you're looking to sort of organize more than just say, you know, like some of your tasks and your projects, you wanna maybe organize your incoming invoices, your external calendar invites and things like that. Honeybook and Bonsai are very good at this. And they're sort of like an all-in-one experience for managing your business. They won't give you the intricate productivity details like the other ones will in the traditional personal project management software experience, but it will give you a sort of out-of-the-box solution for that. Same goes with Basecamp Personal. It doesn't necessarily give you the invoicing abilities, but it gives you a bit more of a playground to structure all of your work and a different way of doing it. So that's why I call these more out of the box, all in one solutions that can be used. Now the final category is all in one, no code. And we're seeing three main candidates for this at the moment, and they are Airtable, Coda, and of course, Notion. These are all great solutions. And sometimes people are finding that okay, I manage my own business or I'm a freelancer or I am working on a growing team, they find, okay, maybe it's not the best place to nest all of my tasks inside of an application 
like a task management application, but a project management application that can expand in the future or provides more depth and function for me. So I would say these no code ones take a little bit more time to set up. There are some obviously some templates across Airtable, Coda and Notion that do quite well, but at the same time, they give you a bit more of a playground, a more build your own playground to sort of set yourself up and your work. So folks, those were some personal project management applications. It's sometimes hard to make that decision, that differentiation. And I would say typically 90% of the time, the task management application will do you pretty well. But if you're somebody that comes from a background where they've moved jobs from a project management software and gone into a task management application to manage themselves, sometimes that can be a little bit of a weird switch. It feels like you're going backwards in your organization and you might actually find it better. But it also flips the other way around where if you're using a personal project management application and you find it, you're not utilizing a lot of the features or you find it's overwhelming to be able to organize structure and maintain it, then you can go backwards to maybe a task management application. It's really dependent on your situation and how you're feeling at the moment in terms of your capabilities. But try again to match with something that's gonna last you about two, three years is a good window in project management software to be able to use it for. Because remember, moving base can sometimes be quite stressful, especially with effort, time, and money. So folks, hopefully you found this useful. Again, thank you to Miro for sponsoring. You can find the tool that I use to visualize this in the description below. But a big, big thank you for stopping by, and I look forward to seeing you in a future video. Cheerio, folks.